And I call him all the time. I get like one out of 10 times he answers. I'm like 0 for 7 on Mike. <laughs> Everybody says that. Everybody says that. that. People but say never... he's a clout chaser, but he's never picked up my phone call. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Are we ready? Because, bro, everyone's still just yapping up. Hey, it, shut the f- <laughs> I don't care. I got my, what is this? What is this, Bloody Mary? Why would someone drink this alcoholic ketchup? <laughs> Why would someone drink this at 1, 1, 1 p.m.? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're in Las Vegas. Welcome back to Apostle, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you for watching, viewing, listening, subscribing. Whatever, however you uh, view and digest this podcast, we love you. We have a special guest today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Beast. I can't believe what it. up, everybody? I, I, he's, he's number one. Thank you for having He's, me. You're goaded, dude. Like, you're the guy. I love it. And I literally just walked in this room. We haven't even talked. No, he no. just dabbed me up. I sat down, and here we are. Yeah. Let's do this. Jumping right into it, dude. I love I it. I didn't even know you were going to be in Vegas. What a privilege. We get we get know, you right? in Vegas for an hour. Well, I, um, I'm here for a charity poker game, and then Reed was like, oh, there's this WWE thing. And I was like, okay, that sounds Oh, so fun. you're going to SummerSlam tonight? Yeah, right Okay, cool. This. Oh, fantastic. It's right after this? Yeah. See, I do just do as I'm told, bro. Yeah. Show up here and do go here, and then I'm there. So we're here now. Interesting. We should say George is still missing as well. Oh no, actually, George said he wasn't coming because of me. For whatever reason, he just fucking hates me. Replaced by Mr. So. Beast. No, he missed his flight. He missed his flight. He couldn't get on the plane. I was reaching out the window, and he, he didn't make it. He so. did. He didn't know this, that this was going to happen. You, you end up playing poker last night. I did. I want to play you in heads up sometime today. Like heads up seven up. All right, heads up poker. Oh, what's heads up poker? It's oh, just, just one on one. Oh, I. See. I, bro, I don't have I, any problems. I know. I just want it. <laughs> He's, he goes. He comes in. He goes. Thanks for inviting me on your podcast. I want you. <laughs> I uh, well, we played poker one time with a bunch of YouTubers, and he was actually pretty good. And I don't know. I just have this weird <laughs> desire to play him one on one. You know why I'm better in real life is because I, I, I'm an I'm an actor. Like I could I'm a good bluffer. You know. Yeah. You got a good poker face. Oh yeah. I, I'm I love poker. I actually played. Phil Helmuth or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he won 14 times in a uh, world championship. And I beat him four times in a row last night. <laughs> so. You're you're definitely the type of dude that can do, like, whatever in life and be very good at it. Poker, dude, like, you could probably be one of the best poker players in the world. Well, Literally, if you just decided to do so. The beauty is if you don't give a fuck, it's a lot easier. Yeah, true. It's exactly. it's, it's also easier to not give a fuck when you have hordes of money. <laughs> Endless money. So much Endless money. money. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, what, what do you guys want to talk about? I want to ask you this, speaking okay. of money. Are you a billionaire yet, bro? Like, it's like, like you're, let's be honest. You're going to be the YouTube's first <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or is it happened no um i if i was it'd obviously be paper like if we do yeah, one of these sure. stuff, it's like beast burger sure. stuff because like actual cash i'm probably the poorest person in this room because we just i i doubt that cash is grass baby yeah i doubt that we well we like if i make three four million dollars a month i just spend it on videos the next month we yeah. literally like have razor thin margins and just reinvest it that's all. wild do you, is, is that ever dangerous like does does a video ever not yield a return you're expecting where you're like oh this one hurt a yeah little a ton bit. of them yeah Bro, you're spending four million dollars on a youtube video what well four million dollars a month on, on videos yeah i remember i bought evan a rolex once for like 20k <laughs> And I, was, I actually and I, remember that vlog. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, I was like, can't believe it. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> I well, spent twenty k. <laughs> and well, the thing is, like, as long as you're reinvesting everything and you're constantly innovating and adapting, it's uh, you're, it's pretty hard to fall off if you're like putting in the effort and stuff easy like for that. you to say, dude. All you do is put in the effort. You're a workhorse, and <laughs> even when you're not working, like you you started taking those like therapeutic late night walks. Yeah, and I call him all the time. I get like one out of 10 times he answers. I'm like 0 for 7 on Mike. <laughs> Everybody says that. Everybody says that. that people say never... he's a clout chaser, but he's never picked up my phone call, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm so bad with the phone, man. I'm so bad. And I probably lose as a result. Yo, someone clipped that and tweeted that's, that's probably the funniest thing that's I've said funny. all week. That's funny. It's a great A joke, dude. <laughs> Yo, you just actually had your most viewed video ever. Right? Yeah. Is that is that true? The solitary confinement? Video? Yeah, it just passed. But um, be, oh, what up, doggo? Sorry, like I know you asked me a question, but this adorable no, okay. dog wants dog. attention. Um, I, the video I buried myself alive is about to quickly pass it. That video did a hundred million views in ninety days. Can I ask you something about Insane. that video? Yeah, Jimmy, I watched it to completion, as I do with most of your videos. Thank you, I appreciate to it. To completion, by the way, like watch time, you you got it down. You got me hooked. Let's fucking go. <laughs> you got me hooked. Literally, that's the best compliment you could ever give me, bro. Watch your yo, your watch time's high, <laughs> <Thank> my friend. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get a fucking boner. The buried alive one. <laughs> 
All right, are you enough. fucking? Can, can we get him out of here? <laughs> or do you want him in or out? <laughs> oh, he's actually he spa wants, he's spazzing today, dude. He yep. wants some uh, screen time and some Bloody Mary. Uh, the buried alive one. I had this idea in my notes like forever when I was doing vlogs, mm -hmm. and then whenever it actually came down to it, I go, "That's fucking crazy." Yeah, I, I I don't I don't know if I could, like the 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 claustrophobia the confine and I'm not even claustrophobic right yep. the confined space like do, do you did you have a panic moment that you maybe you didn't oh, put on camera I'm glad you asked also am I looking at this camera or that one that oh, oh is that, that guy that one yeah. let's fucking go so yeah. with very <laughs> I am a very claustrophobic person like I am which is why everyone told me it was a bad idea like even if like my girlfriend just lays on me for five seconds I start to freak no out. fucking way yeah. so leading up to it i would have to sleep in a coffin in my garage some nights to like train myself and like after a while i just kind of got used to it but at start like i would lay in the coffin we have one in my garage at night and they close it and i'd be like uh you know and i'm not even buried alive but then after a while you kind of just get used to it and if you just accept in your mind like nothing's gonna happen then the, it's well, this, this, the safety thing did y'all yeah. do um calculations based on the the weight of everything the, uh, it yeah, was like that, fully, that thing so I was that's like, what i was worried about i was yeah. like damn i'm gonna be buried under like 10 feet of exactly. uh, uh, uh falling dirt yeah like, it was basically like two three thousand pounds of dirt i mean i was yeah, like nine, yeah, yeah. nine feet under so we we ha hired an outside company to build because i didn't trust myself building that we consulted with david blaine who buried himself alive for like a week and like the coffin in the video cost us like two hundred forty three thousand dollars to make oh my God. but that thing you could have buried me under 200 feet of dirt and that's, it wouldn't have mattered. that's a house in rural ohio i know just and, for a coffin yeah, for and, a coffin. and by the way what do you do with something like that after, after you use it? I just have a coffin. If anyone's trying to bury themselves alive, I have a, a he has coffin. The, he has the world's strongest die. coffin. Dude, that's, this thing will never, ever collapse. The thing is, um, like, we could have built a coffin that was just, like, steel, zero issues, but it, it's a better content if it's glass so you can see through it. And 100%. that's what fucked with me. It's because, like, the entire coffin was glass minus the corners. So I could just see like thousands of pounds of dirt for 50 hours straight just there and only thing separating it from me is like glass like this i feel like that actually would have been my one saving grace what's the glass, Being able the, to the glass. Yeah. true yeah claustrophobia wise that helped but like literally the entire time I'm like this dirt could just fall on me. but even like say like i was worried about the oxygen too i'm like dude if he just runs out like if the yeah, oxygen well, we, thing we had is, an oxygen pump i know it's yeah, yeah but still dude what if like someone steps on it and like <laughs> oh shit we actually <laughs> cut jimmy chandler off. and carl like oh what <laughs> if we just step on <laughs> it by the way your friends are the type of friends that like accidentally step on your oxygen <laughs> supply they're, they're while they're you're playing. buried in the ground yeah well and speaking of them they were like they were playing music to the speakers they were peeing on the like above that the was ground. funny yeah and stuff like that uh, they're they're so weird, but that's what I love about my Hell friends. yeah, bro, your friends. Are they here? Yeah. Uh yeah, but they stayed up super late last night playing poker. So do we. Same. So do we. Yeah. Same as well, but I'll let you stay up. Uh probably like three or four. Uh, I bet you beat me. Seven AM here, yeah. Hit this oh. <laughs> we had a we had a baby. wild ending to to our gambling. Oh, too. whoa. Yeah. Well, you gambled without me. Yeah, a little bit. LP so listen to this. LP was down <laughs> LP was down <laughs> racks on blackjack. And he has You're one, high stakes gambling yes. without me. We'll do it again tonight. Okay. He has one dollars left in one chip one yeah. yellow wind chip i'm down i'm like and you put on a throws number? it on 11 black and i go on it with them 11 <laughs> black bro, back right back, game, bro. Back, bro. back in the game that's funny yeah like i said last night i hey doggo i uh i played a uh, heads up with someone i turned 10 grand to 50. way so, to go yeah that's fun and then i went to the roulette table and i wanted to put on black and they're like you can't do more than 10 grand. How annoying is that? Yeah. I'm How like, annoying I, is that? I was like, here. Take I, my money. Take, exactly. Take, or not. Maybe I, I literally was so close to be like, can I just give you 30 grand of this so I can bet? Just out of spite. You can call and have like a host set it's, up. A it's in my notes. I swear. I'm like. Ch 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 Chase can help you. It's, uh, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. It's in my notes hey. literally to talk about like. How hard it is to actually gamble in Vegas. Because we were talking about this at, oh din at dinner, God. dude. If Even if you beat the house odds, you have to beat the odds again at the casino with like the betting limits there's so many parameters they put in place exactly. that you have to be even if you beat the odds of the game that if you even if you even if you win too much bro they're like yeah. oh you're too you're too lucky get okay. out of here get out. So they'll kick annoying. you out we've been kicked out before because we, we keep really? winning yeah of course wow it's gonna happen and that's even if you can get your money to begin with we'll start your chips to begin with we'll sit at the table for an hour with them while they okay. look at the money and they're oh. like we need 46 different forms of id they told Last night they're like, you don't look like you're from this area that's on your ID. Dang. Like they argue they, they, with you, they like they don't want. They didn't you to, accept his Puerto Rican drivers. Yeah, license, a, a territory that was, of the United that States was because up. they didn't think Puerto Rico was a part of the United States. Yeah, yeah. they said Puerto Rico's not the Puerto U.S. Rico is in the U.S. 
No, I know, but they didn't know that, which <laughs> yeah. is I mean, it's not. Put him on blast. <laughs> what was that guy's name? <laughs> now, Philip. That's funny. I one time came here with $100,000 and $5 bills, and no <laughs> casino in all in Vegas would accept it. No way. They all said no one's ever brought a hundred grand and $5 bills, and they just thought it was fraudulent. And I was like, I'm a YouTuber. Here's me giving this <laughs> random guy a million dollars. And they're like, still, no one should have this many $5 bills. This is fraudulent. And they just, literally, they wouldn't take it. And so I had to like just, I was like, well, can you at least hold it back there? <laughs> so, Dude, did you tell them that you said Logan Paul for 24 hours straight? And see oh, that damn. Yeah, I, if I told them that, maybe they wouldn't have taken it. That, that was probably the game changer. What is your process? How do you come up? Hey, hey God. It, it was cute at first. Oh, he's here. <laughs> can, do you guys cut stuff out? Nah. No, oh, we keep pretty much everything. Cool. What's cool. what's your process, man? How do you come? Because okay, you have the most insane concepts on YouTube, and, hands and down. they're getting crazier. Crazy. That's, that's, the, that's it, it's like everyone beats the last, which at a I certain level is this. almost impossible to do. Yep. Or is it? No, it's not. So uh, tactically, how do, how do you get there? And I hope somebody on our team's taking notes as you okay. as you say this. Well, you you can't just hand it all away. But the biggest thing is everyone's like, oh, well, does the money just keep going up? Well, it gets to a point where it's no profitable or whatever. But <laughs> there are multiple levers, right? Like doing things like Buried Alive, you know, that's not me giving away money, but that's a way you can elevate it. And so like you can elevate your content by being more creative, spending more money, yep. putting in more effort. Yep. And there's like all these different things. And so like one of those just has to be going up, not all of them, each video. And yeah. if you do it that way and strategic, it's easy to constantly innovate. You're extremely diversified. Uh, and and the type of content, yeah, exactly, because that's the thing. Like, well, well, it's not even not even just in content, bro. Like, you have so many different oh, businesses. Business. Yes. Yeah, let's talk about that bro, shit. Well, let's say you lose money in a video, you're like, well, Mr. Beast Burgers yeah, is popping go, off oh. this week. Exactly. And and by the way, it is. Yeah. yeah. Like that, and that's one thing which I find. Incredible. Let's talk about it. I, Beast Burger is crushing it. Dude, it's doing better than I ever imagined. How many kitchens you got? Uh, we're over a thousand, and we're we're breaking ground on our first physical one. And 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 so. You can order it on on any like the delivery postmates, yeah. okay, or or through our app. Which that um, and this, I don't care if you guys do. It. I'm not trying to self promo, but like when people download our app, like that's where you get all the data. You can send out notifications every day around dinner time, reoccurring sales. Like that, if you do a virtual kitchen, like or sorry, a virtual restaurant, like having your own app yep. is pretty op. Such an interesting thing. So so I was in Puerto Rico, got some beast burgers. Really? Yeah, and uh, and it it it. it it like made sense to me, which is weird, right? Yeah. Like I got my my Beast Burger, right? You originally on YouTube, and yeah. I was like, oh, I like this. This yeah. is like now a part of his brand. Yeah, and it's so cool to see you like successfully do it, right? I, and now now it's like a major vertical for you. It's well, and here's the way I look at it: if something like fucking Five Guys or like there was like some like Bob's Burger Palace we just walked past <laughs> on our way over here can be successful, like why well, can't Beast Burger? I saw a total of like three people in Bob's Burger Palace, and it looks like the weirdest logo ever. And so like I just don't see you know as long as we have competitive prices and the food tastes phenomenal, which I think it does. Like yeah. I just don't see why it, it won't work. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Um, and so like what's interesting too is like. Before I even promoted it, we were doing pretty good sales because a lot of people, when they open up Uber Eats or Grubhub, mm. they just, they're like, oh, it's that guy from YouTube. Yeah. And they try it out. So it's a lot of like sales from that where it's just basically like free promo. And yeah. it's like, so like having a virtual restaurant, it's like having a billboard in these delivery apps. Why did you think that was going to work? Uh, the virtual restaurant? Yeah. I'll be honest, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> really? That's what I'm saying. Re yeah, okay. we, we got Shout out Reed. Here. No, because that one seemed like a bit of a, a bit of a gamble for me like yeah. if someone's like hey do you want to do virtual kitchens i'd probably land on no well and the whole gamble was the video like that video is going on that oh, i did yeah is about to get 100 million views yeah but okay if that flopped and got like 15 20 and then it wouldn't be a fraction of <laughs> 50 so, a 15 to 20 million if it view flop <laughs> <laughs> yeah that um <laughs> youtubers what the fuck <laughs> what is it is on? a while i honestly I, i'm glad you said that <laughs> if someone would have told me that two years ago i would have punched them ladies and gentlemen we interrupt this program to bring you a word from our sponsors stop right there we want to tell you about a great product our body needs electrolytes plain and simple and when we sweat fast or diet or just live our everyday lives we lose them leading to headaches muscle cramps and weakness we need them replaced maybe, maybe we don't want a sugary sports drink to do the job so we're here to tell you about element the healthy alternative to sugary electrolyte drinks each grab and go stick pack replaces essential electrolytes with no sugar no coloring no artificial ingredients or any other junk we all know the popular electrolyte drinks, and they're packed with sugar. Elements is, help you get in your element. This right, is the version that's actually good for They didn't pay for that. They did not pay for that. <laughs> 
Go a great way to support your health and fitness lifestyle, strength training, recovery, or keto diet. In fact, Element is the exclusive hydration partner to Team USA Weightlifting and many Olympic athletes. So get your free Element sample pack. Element is your official go-to electrolyte drink. Drink Element. Dot com. You only cover the cost of shipping. The link is in the description. We love you guys. Thanks for listening to the podcast. Back to the program. Dude, your videos are getting... I, I was looking... I was scrolling at your channel the other day. I'm like, this is... Bro, Disgusting. these are getting more Disgusting. views than the Super Bowl. Yeah, Every yeah. video. Every yeah. single one. It, we're doing like 50 plus a video now. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, and then Gaming and Reacts are both doing 10 million a video. So I, it's just like... And Philanthropy's doing almost 10 a video. Gaming, now. Reacts, Philanthropy, Philanthropy. And yeah. now you have a Spanish channel. Yeah. <coughs> and, Russian. A, and a Russian. Yeah. Russian yep. Well, channel we're going to do t uh, the top 10 languages. Which that's a fun thing to talk about. So we started... Uh, dubbing, you can overplay clips. I don't care. Uh, our video is in Espanol, and uh, <laughs> so you hire a voice at over actor to play yeah. your friends. Voices. Well, I hired some. Uh, we actually got some celebrities in Mexico. They're oh, like, oh that, sick! Yeah, that like play in some big movies. I didn't recognize any of them, but sometimes on our Spanish channel, people would be like, "Is that uh, Jose oh, from oh, so and so?" Cool. Oh. Yeah, so it like it it adds a, a level. It's yeah. almost like. If uh, you did dubs here and you had like Tom Holland and people like that, do your dubs? Sick. People are interesting more interesting. Sick. So I'm paying like crazy money for these dubs, <laughs> but it's like working so well. Sick. Um, and so, yeah, we just launched it. And in the first month, it did 50 million views and we didn't really have to promote so it or smart. anything. Yeah. And people are loving it. Like the watch time's great. And the audience is good. And, and so my main channel is 60% American and like whatever. The UK is mm. like 10, 15%. But on my Espanol channel, it's 1% American. It's literally a whole new audience. No way. Yeah. And so these are people like I'm literally number one trending uh, in Mexico with videos that I uploaded <laughs> two years ago. It's so crazy because <laughs> Nuts, dude. Yeah. W w when, when, you know, just like observing the space, I always thought uh, whether it's my content, content, whether it's your content, we're putting so much time and effort into these videos. Yep. And yet at the end of the day, there's only a certain part of the world can understand them simply because of their language. And I always knew, I'm like, there's gonna be one of us who's not that lazy and is has the foresight to actually translate these to the specific language and yeah. it's gonna pay off dividends. It's been huge. Cause we're doing like 4 million views a video on all re-uploaded videos. And I think like the Bear to Live video did. Exactly. It's, 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 it's content you've already, you've already made. Well, so now imagine that's Espanol. Now imagine if we're doing a Russian, Hindi, Japanese, German, Portuguese, Indonesian. Dude, you're going to, you're going to be, you're going to be the biggest star on the planet. <laughs> like, it's, like it's literally wild. you're going to be the world's biggest digital star. Yeah. Cause like America's not even YouTube's number one audience. It's India. There's more people that watch YouTube on a monthly basis in India than in America. And like, they don't even have a way to watch our videos. Like, so if I start doing my videos in Hindi and they're like top three languages, like that's literally like I'm actually reaching what I should be reaching yeah. in my videos. Yeah. Do you think you're always going to stay uh, uh, family friendly, clean content? Personally, I don't mind. It's not one of those things where I'm like, oh, I'm selling my soul. Like, I mean, like just curse, not cursing isn't really the end of the world. Yeah, I yeah. feel you. You're, you're also like, I, I think who you are is, is, is that of like a, like a, like a, a friendly, fun, exactly. guy, you know, just, yeah. like you're not a degenerate like like myself. When it comes to gambling, yes, but uh, <laughs> which, by the way, that surprised me. Yeah, that's I don't know, dude. Like, you're oh, very the guy smart who with just your money. Throws away millions of dollars on YouTube videos as a gambler. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> when you put it like that, well, he's got all the things. He's he's smart. He's competitive. And so a lot of that stuff ties into... To yeah, being, bro. He uh, came Victoria on the show. He tried, to, he tried to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> I want you. Mono y mano. Uh, what is your end game for YouTube? Like, where does it end, oh bro? So you run every country. You're like a the, 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 the ultimate... Are you out of your mind, just, dude? Loves you're the ultimate him. victor in every country like th then what you know what i'm saying like do yeah. you see yourself getting out of the space anytime no, soon never i think youtube's gonna grow even bigger like, of course yeah i mean like it, look at it, like 85 percent of the the phones in the world run on android which has youtube pre-installed and google obviously funnels people into youtube so i think in 10 years youtube's gonna be ginormous and i just want to be the biggest youtuber in the world in 10 years Hey Dylan, can you get this fucking dog out of here, man? Someone just it's, it's and, and literally like put him in a different room or so he's out of control right now. <laughs> I, I, think, I think he chewed on my shoes earlier. Really. Yeah, <laughs> he's literally losing his shit, dude. And Danny's not here. Yeah, this, I'm over here telling, talking about my future on YouTube, and he's just like barking dog. at the. You, you know table. what I was thinking he about? Can't leave him in the room. Oh, bark. hey, but by the way, I have a really cool story that I wanted to tell before the end of the podcast. Just remind me. Sure. Like, no, okay. let's do it now. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, it's like, cause I haven't done a podcast in a really long time and something happened. I was like, Oh, well next time I'm on a podcast, I want to talk about it. Let's, let's okay, get it. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. So let me, let me hook you with this. Okay. okay. It's a story about the time I almost died. Oh, now uh, you're I'm interested. hooked. There we go. You're hooked as well. <laughs> I'm in. Okay. So I gotta give it a little bit of context. So basically we filmed the video like eight hours away. It was a normal video. We finished at midnight. 
all the boys slept well. We don't drink. We don't do drugs. We're just normal. Yeah, good, normal, good, good, normal guys. Good bo- Carolina yeah. boys. So, good night's sleep. We we start our drive home. It's a eight hour drive with me and like two of my other friends. And um, so I mean, I'll, I'll get rid of the fluff, but like we're just listening to Joe Rogan's podcast with David Blaine. We're at the part where like Joe stabs him in the bicep. It's yep. really we're loving it. Yep. And I'm just <laughs> listening, sitting there, and then my friend driving. Uh, which I don't even really want to name his name because I want to make embarrass him. Don't do it. Yeah, he just he just says, "Can we pull over to a gas station? I don't feel too good." And I'm like looking at the road, and I turn and look to my left, and his head's just bobbling, and he's just like, "Wait, is he driving?" Yeah, Sleep down man. the highway, and he's just like dead. We we talking about like his arm just went limp like that. He just said <laughs> that the, the guy yeah. driving the car. Yeah, yeah. he gave you one warning, then fell asleep. Wait, it wasn't even like a warning. <laughs> Not just, even a warning. Just he like, just, hey, I don't feel so good. And then I look over, and he's just like this. Oh. And so it's, it's him driving. I'm just going to call him Andrew because I don't want to put him on blast. And then my friend Tyler is sitting behind him. So I instantly am like, this fucker fell asleep. So I grab the wheel. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. And I'm just kind of like keeping the car going straight. And I just yell, wake the fuck up. And I'm like yelling. Yeah. And he's not waking up. And a few seconds go by. And then Tyler in the back seat literally punches him in the head. And his head just goes to the side. <laughs> and does it. And knocked like, him out. <laughs> he was going to wake up and then knocked him out. Cold. And, <laughs> what do you do when you're trying to wake up your friend? Knock him out. Knock him out. So we're just hope like he wakes up. screaming, wake up, as we're going down the highway. And like his foot, though, is still on the gas. So we're like slowly going a little faster. Now we're going like 80 or 85. Hell yeah. yeah. And I'm now just it's getting like, what? Exactly. And I have my hand on the steering wheel. I'm in the passenger seat. And this is a big car with like a console in the middle. So I'm like, barely grabbing it and i just like tyler i don't think this fucker's gonna wake up and so well how long has this been going on at this point like probably like six or seven seconds i mean we're moving quick okay he's like literally dead and just like okay okay um and so i was like i gotta you know in my head i'm like i gotta take his foot off the gas but yeah. the problem is because there's a console and everything of course to take it <laughs> you have to move a 200 pound human who's well, by the way like, knocked unconscious yeah, but not even that it's like you i can't touch his foot on the pedal without leaning below the wheel. And so I can't see the road. So I'm steering the car, but to take his foot off the gas, I have to put my head below the steering wheel so I can reach it. <laughs> so I'm like <laughs> driving and I was just like, I, we can't go hundred miles an hour. We're, there's cars everywhere. There's a fucking dude riding your ass. And I'm like, my fucking driver's dead. Can you just chill for five seconds? Can you imagine being the car next to him looking over and seeing Mr. Beast like bobbing yeah. down under the steering wheel yeah, and so- the guy in the back's punching the dude in the head? <laughs> like, what did I just see? <laughs> Yeah, like, I know. And so I just was like, you know, I gotta, I gotta slow this car down. So I was just like, fuck it. And I just put my head below the wheel. I grabbed his foot and just threw it off the gas. And then I look up and I'm like, oh, we're still going straight. And then, you know, I lean over, tap the brakes, look up. And I'm just doing that. You're I tapping get, the brakes with your hand? Yeah, with my other hand. Yeah. You're, yeah. <laughs> smart. How, how else? It's the best play. I still this have, is crazy. I still have my seatbelt on. I can't reach over and unplug it. There's a console. It's like fucking choking me. And sometimes. homie's not waking up? No, he's just dead. Like, literally, he's just Wait, like, is he like actually dead? <laughs> That's what you, I was going to ask. You said he's literally dead so many times. Yeah, let, uh, let me keep going. I, it's the <laughs> wildest thing. I've never thought this would ever happen in a million years. And so... I just was like, fuck it. I got to get us off the road. You know how like on the side of the highway, there's those strips you hear when you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I just like, I leaned over, I had my foot on the brake and slowly like pulled off and I could hear the strip on the right tires. You so, were, you were driving the car based on the strip, uh, the on sound. hearing. The yeah. Sound. Cause I couldn't really see you. And then I heard it on the left wheels and I was like, okay, we're off the fucking highway. I looked up to make sure and I just slammed on the brakes and we're off. We didn't hit a car. We're just on the side of the highway. And and so I think everything's over. I literally, the second I let off the brake so I can touch the, put the car in park, which is like on my stomach in the console, he comes back to life. His heart starts beating again, which I'll explain what happened. And he just stomps on the gas. And I'm like sitting up, not with my hand on the brake anymore. Because he came back to life and because what he was doing was driving, he instantly started driving again. That was because he, it was just like. So he floored it. Yeah. And so I like literally we're on the side of the highway. I instantly bend back over to touch the brake, but I was like, fuck, we could go right on the road and just get hit 70 miles an hour. So I just yoinked the wheel to the right. So we just slammed into a concrete wall and that just stopped the car. And yeah, then, that'll, that'll yeah, do it. Yeah, and then I, my head's like fucking bleeding and I have marks everywhere. And Tyler oh just runs around and just rips him out of the car. Yeah. And then I lean up, put the car in, in park. And um, so to explain what happened to him is his heart just stopped beating. It just literally stopped beating. He has a, a rare condition. No it's super rare. Way. So by all metrics, he was literally dead. And there's a dead man driving the car. Oh, he was so literally he actually dead. was yeah. dead. And then he Wait, came back, got it. did it, and then his heart stopped beating again. How does your boy in the backseat feel about punching a dead man in the oh, back? <laughs> Dude, he was freaking out. Like, <laughs> Fuck him up. The funny joke is like, 
<laughs> my friend Tyler thought we were gonna die. It like the like Dude, once he realized the punching would wake him up. The goo. He's dead. No, Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. <laughs> Not only that, he was choking <laughs> the motherfucker. Too. Oh god. And, like, when work, he's like, yeah. Drive the car. No, 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 he's from behind him, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> like what we're gonna see in WWE tonight pales to what Tyler did to the guy driving. <laughs> This poor guy, dude. Uh, Damn. So, um, Damn. and he was so hell bent on destruction when he came back to life, he's tried to kill him again. <laughs> he's like, "Fuck, Mister." Well, actually, there's a good ending between those two because when he, um, his dad's a paramedic and he was taught like if people pass up, put their legs above their heart. So when he pulled the guy out of the car, he lifted his legs above his heart, and then that caused the blood flow and caused his heart to start beating again. Will he ever drive again? Because he probably shouldn't. Well, he got um. <laughs> so after that, the you know our car slammed in a wall. I'm just bleeding in the face and 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 then the guy after tyler put his legs above his heart started beating again and he goes uh, can someone hand me a water and i just said fuck your water you almost, <laughs> you killed, almost killed us dude. <laughs> and, and he doesn't know any of it because he, he wasn't literally technically wasn't alive and he's just like why are we here what's going on and that whole the whole whole ordeal was probably what, 25 seconds yeah right yeah. It's yeah. so crazy how how quick all of the craziest shit can happen. Like exactly. the real life fast thinking scenarios, and you did the right thing. If Tyler is in the passenger thing, see, I think we would have died. Like, <laughs> honest to God. Bro, you didn't panic. I, I don't you, know where. You, you, well, actually, so he, let me give you a second story, This is, which is weird as fuck. But when I was in Little League, my coach was driving me home. He stopped at his house to, like, go grab some stuff. I don't remember because it was on the way to my house. And so he just gets out, darts inside. He forgets to put his car in park. Oh, God. And I'm 10 years old. I'm sitting in, like, the front seat, and the car just starts moving in his driveway. And I don't know what to do. I looked over, and I'm I'm 10. I've never driven a car. And, I like, I know, like, once gas won't break, but I'm like, if I actually – I want to stop the car, but if I actually (laughs) press the gas, I'm thinking we're just going to go through the house and I'm going to die. Yeah. And so I just didn't do anything. And the car just hit the side of his house. And he was so mad. (laughs) And I was dramatized for the longest time. I was like, Mom, I could have stopped it. And I just didn't know. And so when I saw him passed out, I was like, I'm not fucking up this time. (laughs) When you don't know what to do, don't do anything. So when you were 10, I'm not sure you did make the wrong decision. But you're 10 years old. But I could fault. have literally just reached over and touched the brake. Or you could have accelerated <laughs> through the entire house. Yeah. Well, that's you, what You my... like gambling, Jimmy? Did you not like it when you were 10? True, true, true. And so anyways, I got that flashback where the second I saw the dude pass out, I was like, not this time. I know what to do. <laughs> not this I won't make that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Which Tyler did have that trauma when he was 10, so I don't think he would have acted the same way I did. Because I replayed that scenario so many times in my head when I was a little kid. Are you about to cry are you crying I am. Right now? it's weird whenever i like yawn i tear up i fucking hate it if you if this happens to you please comment i it's, i it does. oh it's like a thing yeah i'm looking at you i'm like i know he's I like when like I, he's like when i was 10 <laughs> you know the car hit the side that. of the house no, my yeah. coach didn't start me all right now i'm now i'm insecure about it. Let me no 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 did did that uh did this last one because you were moving pretty fast that had to be scary did that does that like does that fuck with you at all? Like, would, like, does it change your outlook at all? Do you think a little bit differently after that, or like, or a little just, bit? Yeah. I was like, damn, like, I didn't even hit hundred million subscribers. I don't want to die yet. <laughs> Is everything? Like, hey, let me give an ending real quick. And the, they, um, the for like a few <clears throat> weeks, they couldn't find what was wrong with his heart. And then they were just doing tests. It was like the fifth time, and his heart just stopped in the middle of the test, and the thing went flat. Oh, and shit. then they were like, oh. And they just did. Surgery. Oh wait, so they they didn't know he had a. a Probably no. The paramedics previous. and everything were just like, "There's nothing wrong with him. His like white blood cells, everything's normal." So this accident actually led to the discovery of this of heart. It. Yeah, and, and he probably oh. would have died. Yeah. And well, then there uh, you go. That's probably why it all happened. Maybe there you go. You know, they just had to almost kill me for for us to find out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then they just uh, put a pacemaker, and now he's fine. If his heart stops, the pacemaker just kicks it back in. Okay. So. Cool. So drive, drive that car. Get behind. Yeah. Get back behind <laughs> I, the wheel, I told baby. Him he's not allowed to drive a non-Tesla for the rest the rest of his uh, life. Somewhere right. Tyler's just waiting for that pacemaker. To give out. <laughs> oh wait, wait. He's actually, like, so I that's swear to God, he's like the second he drops, I'm gonna punch the <laughs> I mean, shit out of him. Me and Tyler were body. joking because like if he didn't wake up. They would have thought it was attempted homicide because he's like fucking bruised on his head oh. from us really. And it looks like we just jumped him on the road. Can you imagine that headline? Mr. Beast is under arrest. <laughs> Vehicular manslaughter assault. I don't even know what it would be People would just be confused why you beat up the driver. <laughs> exactly. We're going to be like, like the, the FBI or whatever is going to be like, so 
why were you guys punching him? We're going to be like, sir, he just died. And he's like, his blood levels are normal. His white blood's <laughs> out. He has plenty you, of you sleep. Gotta believe he, me. And I'm like, officer, he just died. I don't know how to explain it. And he's like, people don't just die. You clearly punched him. Yeah. <laughs> did, so did he see heaven or no? Uh, he said, he literally, he, he remembers saying, I f- don't feel so well. And then just blinked, and then it, he was on the ground on the road. That's it? Yeah. No heaven. He, he didn't re- remember anything in between. Easy, champ. What are you thinking? He just he didn't go far enough. He was he, he, he was on his way to heaven. He got rocked in the back <laughs> of the skull and took him back down to earth. <laughs> he was on his way up, and he just got clipped. Oh, fantastic, dude. We interrupt this program to bring you another word from our incredible sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us. Blue, Blue Chew. Chew. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer-lasting erections. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form, and it's at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor doctor's office. No awkward conversations and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in discreet packaging. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So if you can benefit from some extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit BlueChew.com. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com for more details and important safety information. Here's a special deal for our listeners. Try BlueChew free when you use our promo code LOGAN at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's B L U E C H E W dot com, promo code Logan, to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. Back to the show. That was funny. <laughs> Damn, man. So almost dying, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Should You could have made a YouTube video out of that. Why'd you use it on our show? Uh, I mean, I don't really know. Like, Dude, what channel would I do? It on? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, I like literally right after it happened, I was like, next podcast, I'm, I'm telling this. And would then, you? Would you ever do like a? Super authentic behind the scenes, That's Mr. Beast type. Yes. A little Thing. bit. The only downside is a lot of people copy my every move, and yeah. like I've spent five years building how we do everything, and like I've spent tens of millions of dollars fucking up so I can learn from it, and like hiring and how we do things, and then for me to just show the thousands of creators coming from my neck exactly how I do everything would literally shoot them like not that, that not that. not how I'm talking about. Yeah. Don't, don't don't give but away everything, your IP. But everything we do behind the scenes is like no, bro. But I, I want to see like. Come, see, come, come to where we do it. Like any YouTuber I ever collab with, they always leave and they're like, oh, everything makes a million times more sense now. Like I know what I should do. Oh, okay. Like it's cheat code. Yeah, basically. If you want to be a successful YouTuber. I, like I've literally been hiring and, and building systems for like the last four to five years now to like perfect how to like make a viral video. Like we have it down to a science. Yeah. So then like if you just see it, it's like, oh, now I know what to do. And you, it's easy to replicate it. But figuring it out took forever. Absolutely. He told us, he told us about it a, year, a couple of years ago when he was on the show for the first time. Yeah. He had it down with science then. Yeah. How many subscribers was I on back then? Yeah. <sighs> Wasn't it like X Games million? mode? I don't know. What are you yeah. at now? Uh, just shy of 70. Oh, my God. That's insane. Kids yeah. That is insane. 70 on the main, 20 on gaming, 10 on reacts, and then philanthropy and shorts are both, both hit 10. You're and wild, And right? he's doing like a billion views a, a month total, right? Well, we did that in March. This month's probably like 700 million. What, what, are you, uh, what are you most excited about? Most excited about? Yeah, right now. I, I just YouTube. It's never really. I mean, it's like weird because everyone always tells me eventually you'll get burnt out, but it's just YouTube. That's what gets me up in the morning, and that's what I live and, for. And it always has. It always has. It hasn't changed. Even when you were just saying the same thing over and over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and since I was 13, I just, I, I've been obsessed and it just won't go away. Bro, this is what, okay, so I've, I've said this, like, when you were doing those videos, definitely, I was like, yo, this guy's, fu- like, this guy's. This guy's a fucking idiot. No, I was like, I was like, this guy, this guy's interesting, like, I, but I, I, I'm mad at myself for not knowing that any person that was willing to put themselves <laughs> through know. that type of mental uh, distress could literally do whatever they wanted and is probably going to like make it and figure it out. Yeah. You're a special one, bro. Thank you. But you're it. most excited about YouTube, but like any of your business stuff, like, um, and, and even like, I know you're big into crypto. Yeah. Crypto's been killing it, man. Especially for you. Agreed. I mean, and I mean, you've been doing pretty well as, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, I like the space. I remember you called me, um, maybe, maybe like eight months ago and you're like, yeah, look. <laughs> you, go, you go yeah just put a, a million and a half into bitcoin you know, i'm pretty excited <laughs> yeah. about it this year Let's fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> i'll show you my portfolio after this but i also so me and logan both bought punks you guys will probably see on his twitter that uh he bought a bunch of crypto punks at the same time right yep. when gary pulled us yep. in that call yep so have you ever told that story 
No. At Gary V, it's like <laughs> fucking 11 p.m. Just out of nowhere, just calls me. And he's like, yo, I, I got like 30 people to call hop in. I'm like, oh, I don't give I don't care. He's like, it'll be the best decision of your life. Just get in. I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah. And so I just joined the call. And I just see like Logan and I, I don't even know these other people. I don't want to put them on blast. Every heavy hitter you can imagine exactly. who's worth a billion dollars was on this one call. And Gary V is in the little corner, the little square. Yeah. He's, go he's going... Crypto punks. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be the next Facebook. We're all of us. We're like, okay, Everyone's Gary. Judging. I'm texting Logan. He's I'm like, like, is Gary this, is this legit? Yeah. Bro, all of us are like, yo, Gary's nuts. Yo, Gary was right again. Yeah. What well, the fuck? Uh, we gotta keep the story going. So there's like all these like um, very successful people in this call, and Gary's just like, everyone, shut the fuck up. Here's what you're gonna do, and you're gonna do it right now. You're all gonna buy a bunch of crypto punks. And we're all just like, he's like, who here owns one? And like one guy raised his hand and it's because Gary bullied him into buying it the day before. <laughs> and we're all just like, are you sure, Gary? And we're asking questions and he's like, just buy it. I, and I, was, I was just so pulled by his like conviction yeah. that I bought a bunch. I wait, mean, wait, wait. Yeah, I bought quite a few. How many? Uh, I, I, I don't want to say, but you I, have I, to no, say, I, you have I to. bought multiple ones. Yeah. Well, bro, are you in double digits, punks? Uh, double, just shy. Oh, okay. okay, cool, yeah, cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So I, Yo, I, had, I, 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 he's imagining just said 60. No, no. <laughs> Three I, I, zombies. I, I bought like eight of them and um they they did pretty good. And right? any uh any zingers? Any like real special yeah, I ones? Yeah, had, I had some that like whatever, 20, 30 X. What, what what's a what's a uh, We we a, bought a lot with like the cigarettes cuz I thought cool. that was an interesting attribute. And those those did pretty well. What's another characteristic? That, like what's your rarest characteristic punk? Uh well, I I've already sold quite a few of them, so Which, I don't I don't what? what? <laughs> I, Dude, he's on to the next thing. <laughs> I bought a bunch of so that I'm rolled the money into V friends because I Gary same thing called me. He's like V friends. I was like I don't fucking know, but last time I made money, sure, sure. And then I, so I basically sold them all and moved the money into V friends. C can I ask you guys a question? When when Gary does that call with all these billionaires and uh, eight months or a year later, everybody's like Gary was right again. <laughs> yeah. Is it possible that he's right because of the call? Do you know what I'm saying? I, like, I think about that like, a lot. Like, dude, he has all these billionaire market makers in the thing. I think about he that makes a lot. the call, makes the market. By the way, you look around at all the punk owners a, a year later, and you're like, damn, it's all the same motherfuckers that were on the call. <laughs> no, because, bro, there's, there's 10,000 punks, and there's only like 30 of us on the call. We can only own and do so much. There's still yeah. an entire yeah, yeah, market yeah. that's going to happen regardless. Right. I can tell you I don't think why, because that was all back like early February. Like, right, right. things didn't pop off till later, and every... Like NFT project was popping off, not just punks. I so. mean, I mean, make no mistake. Like having such influential people involved in projects, it's not. It can't hurt the ability for sure. the project to, to but like work. Not, you know, what you I'm know saying? ninety-five percent of those people didn't even mention it. You know what I mean? Like right, I, right, I've right. never talked about publicly. Right. You so, you you yeah. into like NFTs in general or any other projects that you're excited about? Um, I mean, I'm mostly a Bitcoin holder, but you know, just it's fun. I I literally just like once a month, I'm like Gary, what NFT should I buy? And then I just buy what he tells me. So so. Gary called me and, and and I'm a collector at heart, which is like why I like the space. Oh, yeah. I like just like the what, Pokemon guy's a collector. Ex exactly, you saw exactly, that coming. <laughs> exactly, dude. And uh, so he, Gary called me and we have these talks. Like we we talk probably every other day at least. Yeah. And he called me like a month ago. He's like Logan, I promise you. Like I know you. You're a smart kid. If you play this right, like I know you can. Like you do with Pokemon, the NFT industry you can make a quarter of a billion dollars yeah. and, and I go, how do, how do you not I go, like perk up? <laughs> how is this? How is this? But he's never wrong. Right. So that's where I, that's where I started. Yeah. And then bro, the other day I got the idea Yeah. and I want to run it by you. Not okay. now off the podcast, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I had the most Ooh. revolutionary, uh, monumental piece of IP in my head, and I've been ID. I can't sleep for the past like two so, days. So, like for making your own version of punk? N no, 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 no. Just a really, really special NFT project. Interesting. Uh, with with. All right, so that's it for this episode of the Pulse. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I just, I just, I just think you know. I just think there's so no, much like, room for innov innovation yeah. to grow. And and bro, obviously, I value your mind. And like one thing we kind of do but i don't think do well enough and you've always been on this kick yeah is is uh um i love how he gasses you up it, it makes you feel so good <laughs> no but he's serious so so, is he's serious, is so. is collaborative amplification mm -hmm. like you're so good at that right just bro on your walks you you, you do your hour walk at night you go i'll just scroll scroll through my contacts and call someone see how they're doing pick their brain a little bit like exactly so much to be learned yep and you're so good at that and the thing is like that's what's sad is because so many like small YouTubers, they see it as like, 
oh, I don't look. I fucking I see this all the time. Like a guy with a million subscribers will I'll, will learn something new and they'll be like, oh, I don't want to teach my friends. Like they'll compete with me. It's like you dumbass motherfucker. <laughs> you pulled less views in the last three years than like I know people have on a single video. Like yeah. you teaching him isn't gonna do anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and so like they're so like caught up in like not sharing things and being secretive that like. In a, it's like you can I don't know why this thing keeps rotating but uh, I'm a hand talker we'll yeah, stop yeah I feel you okay is that fine <laughs> so like difficulties. imagine a world where it's wait here did you but it's just also yeah wait did you say also, also? You, want, you want to just hold it Nah, well, I wanted to use Demi. Hand. He wants to demonstrate. Oh, he wants why. to demonstrate. He's what? Italian. Yeah, t can you talk it into that plant? Okay, there we go. Is it nice, good now? Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like, imagine one where you have like three friends, and like when friend number one learns something, he teaches the other two, and friend number three fucks up on a video, and he teaches you guys, and you're all coming up together. Yep. Whereas if you're separate, you have to fuck up every single time. You don't. So like, if you each make a hundred fuck ups, you could be like. 300 fuck ups deep in learning. Yep. And, but if you're separate, you're only 100 deep. How often are you asking for help? Because I realize Every this, day. when you when you open the door to me for like uh like hey, let's just like bounce things off. I I definitely like took advantage of that, which I want like I don't exactly. I don't I don't I'm, I don't Rule ask number for one help. Is you got to give more or give at least what you take. You, and if you do that, people will always teach you stuff. Say that one more time. You got to give at least what you take from someone. Hmm. Which and the YouTube space is pretty easy for me because I can just teach people anything and then I just hope to learn one thing from them. So, so, so are you? You're just constantly asking questions or, all the time. Really? That's the only way you can ever stay on top is if you're constantly learning. If you're always learning, reinvesting every dollar and basically working 10, 12 hours a day, like I just don't see a world where someone can compete with you. Hmm. A lot of people don't have that desire that to 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 learn and then apply the information that has been learned, which is fine. I mean, like some people do YouTube for fun, some people do it just to pay off their mortgage of the house. Like everyone has different goals. But if you really want to be the best in the goddamn world, it's like Michael Jordan says: you're not trying to get one percent better; you're trying to get one ten thousand percent better. And if you do that every day, like it adds up. We don't want to play the game; we want to change the way the game is played. We want to dominate in a way, yeah. as in a non-arrogant way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you. It's insane, bro. Are you are you most uh, bullish about? Uh, uh, the digital space, or or some of maybe your more traditional investments, some of your some of your business savvy type uh, tech startup. Um, I t I just YouTube. I think it's the most surefire way. I mean, like the businesses, are, I love them, and like I think Beastburger will be massive, especially if we hit two, three, four thousand virtual restaurants and we open hundreds of physical ones. But even at the end of the day, like attention is so just powerful you know what i mean and I, like in a way obviously attention you know. attention is powerful exactly. that's the thesis 100 you know? and so 100%. if you can like really like you know just get big and just maintain it for a decade like it's it's terrifying <laughs> because if you could just get big and maintain it for a decade, well no he's right he's right yo i'm, so I'm not gonna lie i've I'm kind hard. i've kind of uh gotten privileged to, to be on this wave recently like yeah. like I, I i love youtube right but like i kind of found something else that i love right now that i'm pursuing but I re like people are paying attention to me, and there's a lot you can do with it. Exactly. There's a, and if you and if you make good products or content, whatever you're making, media, um, uh, commentary, if you have decent opinions, yeah, people people listen. People people exactly. will, people will stay uh, interested in what you have to say. Agreed. And that's the thing. Like, it's not so cut and dry. Like, you don't just have to grind videos. Like, arguably, you have a better way of going about it from a mental sanity standpoint because you don't have to, like, constantly be in the grind. Like, <laughs> like this, but but do I? Because I haven't stopped drinking for the past <laughs> two months. <laughs> and, and Yeah, but some people fault. would argue, you know, that being able to drink every day for two months and, and also, you know, still be relevant and do kind of what you want is kind of like the goal. Like, you know, you can basically do what you want and, like, as long as you're, you know, still boxing. You're describing a functioning events. alcoholic. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> what, see, how, what time is it? And <laughs> hmm. He never Should even I stopped from somebody? last night. My, yo, Mike goes legitimately for the first time in the car yesterday. He goes, I think you should check into rehab. That's what he said. Well, no, I, I wasn't being serious. I just thought it was funny that <laughs> Sounded he, was, pretty serious. he always gave me so much shit and like made fun of me <laughs> he so goes, much. He goes, he goes, I can't believe. That I used to be a drug addict, and now I, I'm watching my friend. It all happened to him right no, now. That's funny. But he's not. No, <laughs> he's, just, he's just having way too much fun. You need to pump, well, you pump the brakes soon. You'll pump the brakes soon. Interesting. Another word from our sponsors. Look, we're all adults here, and some of us choose to use nicotine to relax, focus, or just unwind after a long day. Lucy Nicotine is a company that was created to help nicotine users find a cleaner option and feel better about the way they consume nicotine. Their latest product is Slim Nicotine Pouches, which contain pure synthetic nicotine and provide the same satisfaction that nicotine users expect without any tobacco at all. 
Lucy Slim Pouches use newest technology for synthesizing pure nicotine in the lab. None of the tobacco, all of the nicotine satisfaction. They include both coconut oil and gum base to provide a soft, fluffy texture that enhances the flavor and doesn't dry out your mouth. And they come in three strengths, four, eight, and 12 milligrams with three exclusive and delicious flavors, spearmint, mango, and cool cider. It's 2021. Impulsive listeners, go to lucy.co and use promo code LOGAN. Get 20% off your order of Lucy Slim Pouches or any other Lucy products. That's lucy.co and use a promo code LOGAN at checkout. Also, I do have to give this disclaimer. Warning, this product contains non-tobacco nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Lucy.co, be sure to use a promo code LOGAN. Back to the program. I want to ask you a question. How invested uh, time-wise and how much, uh, uh, like, attention do you give to the business <laughs> side of things yeah or or because i know because reed's here yeah legend monster and you got do you guys work like is he running like a lot of the business side of things and you're oh, it, it just depends what you got know what it I mean? like it's, the burgers for example yeah it's usually um he's doing a lot of the back end stuff i just want to make decisions you know what i mean i don't want to have to go in there and and study how people are working and, and figuring out a way to make things more efficient and stuff like that so, so you got a great team. Yeah, exactly. Well, of course. I mean, at this point, we have like five different channels and multiple different companies. Like, I can't realistically spend hours every day on everything. Can, can I can I uh, outline the one piece of advice that you gave me that I have yet to actually apply sure. to my life? Oh, I'm curious. What was it? Okay. But it, I don't know if it's like a secret IP. Uh, let me... Let, okay. Yeah. You you hired a shadow. Yeah. Way back when. Mm-hmm. Can Agreed. We, basically. Can we, can we if, talk about that? Yeah. If you want someone who can like, if you're a YouTuber and you need someone who can like actually like do a lot of the high level things, just pay someone to follow you around for two years and study everything you do. And after that, they'll be pretty good at like doing stuff for you. What's better than one Mr. Beast? An army. <laughs> two Mr. Beasts. Ten. Exactly. So you hired someone. I found this fascinating because, because we were on a call one time and I'm like, bro, my bandwidth is, I'm out. Like I have, yeah. I have nothing left to give. And you go, you know what you have to do? And I, it was the, this was the best decision of my life. You're like a year ago, I hired someone to just literally just be my shadow. Follow me around, learn everything I do, ask me questions, get in my mind. Mind you, this is whoever this person was, is a smart person. Very, very smart. Like very yeah. capable, smart, like and you're not, yeah. not your average Joe. But still, he learned and adapted to the ways that is that technical, uh, nuanced, digital uh, exactly. thinking. Yeah. A and he's able to make decisions for you and you know they're going to be right exactly he's he's so, able to be you behind so the camera there's so much input like you kids like every decision we make is like based on the thumbnail and title and content and like even things like knowing the factor that like greater lighting at the beginning has higher retention if a video is a little bit darker it's lower and like you know like re-engagements and stuff like there's, there's like thousands of inputs and like someone you who you just train up isn't going <laughs> to get them all but if someone follows you around they like learn these thousand little things over the course of a year so then like their like percentage of right decisions are so much more in line with yours because they like pick up like if i tried to teach someone something i wouldn't think of all these dumb little things but but it but they just come up occasionally and you just learn them all the time so smart is it was there another like key decision in your uh, ability to manage that that maybe you remember uh i mean there's so many man i've been yeah. doing this for like four or five years yeah, I guess you're right. and the biggest thing is like when i started i was 19 so i didn't really know much but as i'm like growing and i'm hanging around more entrepreneurial people mm. I'm, I'm learning a lot and i'm learning it's not how old are you not 23 23 yeah i think was, and last time we did this i think i was 20 i wasn't even old enough no to drink, right? I, yeah I, no, it couldn't have been that long no, ago. I, probably, I, probably, probably 21, 22. No, no, it was, it was over two years ago. What was, what was this video? Over a million dollars, 12 days of filming, 700 SD cards went into our upcoming video. I can't Ooh. wait to upload it. Okay, so that video, uh, I basically put 100 people in a circle, and the last one to leave got half a million dollars. It's just a big circle, and the circle shrunk every day. How do you make sure these people stay healthy and not... Like this seems like a liability, dude. This seems yeah, like yeah, of course. If if we were just dumb about it, so we have medics on standby. We we have therapists, whatever they need, and therapists, there are people therapists. routinely checking in on them and, and stuff. And so like, I, I, the imagine, medic imagine you get PTSD from staying in Mr. Beast's circle too long. <laughs> I was there for seventy four. But the thing days. is, everyone everyone walks away with money, and on top of that, they can literally leave whenever. And so it's like there's there's nothing that will force them to go past their the breaking point. You, you know what I mean? You are you sure? Because uh, sorry. No, go, you know, no, go, go, go. When you did the one with the where the kids were touching the the the, the, money? Br yeah. the brick of a million dollars, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't I know that humans could reach a level mentally. It was only thirty nine hours of standing, dude. Thirty nine hours being is like crazy. They do that in so seer. These kids, they do that in seer training for the, for the seals. These kids were like getting that. delusional. They were they they were yeah. becoming 
blobs of themselves. <laughs> Blob I fish. bet you if you if you ask people watching this, ninety nine percent of them would love to put their hand on a million dollars for a chance of it. Everyone, it's a it's a cool challenge to push yourself. See, let see me ask you something. You like I would do it in a heartbeat. It's fun. Do you and, think you'd win? Oh, you, any, any of would, these would you win every? Do you, do you know in the back person. of your mind? You, do you know that you I go? Spent, I would win this. I spent fifty hours buried alive. I've done. I counted to hundred thousand for forty hours straight. I've done so many dumb things. Yeah, I don't care, and I'm so competitive. I would die on that million dollars before I lost. <laughs> and I I just don't care. Would you consider entering yourself in one of these competitions? Yeah, the only for, problem for is one of I your just, videos. I just don't want to win a million dollars because then it looks like no, I'm stealing yo, the money from. Don't don't take the million dollars. But I guess that ruins the shtick. Exactly. Right? You're gonna win. I, I'm telling like, you, no one's beating me. Um, and the other problem, which actually I I probably will do it soon. I just gotta figure out how like because like these videos are good because I'm narrating them and I'm like you know if I'm just stuck on it then like there goes like most of the video. <laughs> I, I want you to narrate Planet Earth one day. Narrate it. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I think. I think you could be a David Attenborough replacement when the time is right. Interesting. You imagine this guy telling you about the penguins. The penguins. We are. gave these penguins ten million dollars. <laughs> they had to stand in this ice block for the next forty years. And what they don't know is there's five polar bears rapidly approaching. <laughs> there's five seals in the surrounding waters. And then they all get out, and I'm like, oh, these are just my friends. Fucking stupid penguins. You have animals. You you and you a dog owner. I got one dog. I adopted her. Uh -huh. We had, we adopted every dog in an animal shelter, and then uh, I ended up keeping oh, one. Oh, I that's right. That. Yeah. Oh, very. What kind cute. of dog do you keep? Uh, I honestly don't know Just much like about the breed, but she she was like very scared and terrified, and it's crazy seeing her a year later now, where she just is the nicest dog and she loves playing with people. But when I first like got her, she would just like hide in corners. She, she was abandoned at a trailer park. She had like severe fungus and everything. She she had a lot of. Problems. You should you should have made one of those videos with it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, get copyright claimed. I used that song as a meme like five years ago, and they claimed the whole video, and it was like one second. It's the worst. Yeah. I mean, now YouTube has it where you can cut it out, but back in the day, nothing was like. I did a video where I had everyone put. Speaking of these videos, uh, their hands on a Lamborghini. Yep. And um, I think someone sung a song or something, and it got claimed. Oh yeah, we had we had an issue like that once on the on the show. Yeah, but that video we, we sing they a melody claimed and... it at the start, and that video got like ninety million views, and I didn't make a dollar off of it. Uh, I lost the Lamborghini, and I didn't make any money. It's frustrating. I know that was are, brutal. Are, are you happy with the current state of YouTube? Because the last time you came on this podcast, I believe you. You said something like, don't I, no, quote me. I, I loved I you YouTube said back then. Like, and Logan's like, fuck YouTube. He's like, do you hate YouTube? And I was like, fuck YouTube. And I was like, ah, just kidding. I love them. Yeah, and then the title's like, I hate YouTube. Here. So this time, <laughs> you don't have to just make things up. I'll give you a title. The time Mr. Beast almost died. There you go. By the way. Banger. Uh, come on, bro. Yeah, I didn't do that. Hey, as soon go. as you started telling the story, make sure. I, I, went, I went, this is it. And it took all the stress off trying to come up with a title. I'm like, yes, <laughs> Caleb, we don't have to ideate for hours uh, to go back and all forth. the time. I'm hung over in the morning like this. Caleb, <laughs> figure out a title. Bro. I'm hung, I'm hung yeah. over. I low key that did trigger me a little bit because I love YouTube but I didn't want them to see it, not watch it, and think I hated it. Bro, them. it's all clickbait. Yeah, I I know. I remember I called you like two days later. I was like, yo, can we think of a different title? <laughs> and then I forgot to follow up. I, I I do this with all my guests. Uh, mm -hmm. If they're like, yo, I don't I don't like that title. We did it with um. Well, I guess I'm not privileged enough to get this experience. We'll of give bro. you a title change whenever you <laughs> want. Kidding, whenever kidding, you, kidding. Kidding. Whenever you want. I think you just forgot. It was funny. Oh, was I supposed to? Yeah, I asked you. Oh. I literally called. Oh, really? I, I'm in a Creator Games battle royale with like people shooting balloons. I'm like running around filming, and then I saw you upload. It. I was like, "Yo, I don't want YouTube to think I hate them." It's like, I don't. And I didn't change yeah, it. Yeah, and you're like, "Okay, well, what else do I do?" I was like, "I don't know, but I gotta go film." And then we just never talked about it again. Oh fuck! I'm, I, sorry. I'm doing this thing where I yawned. I'm not crying because of that. I'm, I'm it's just so annoying. He's like, you didn't change you the didn't title. Change the fucking title. <laughs> Yo, why do you do all this? What's the What's the reason? Is it Is it sheer competitiveness? You like YouTube and everything. Yeah. I mean, what else is there to do in life? Well said. I mean, like that's what that's what gets it's me up in the morning, good point. And, and I love it. I mean, I just like. But but why though? But why is it I, the passion? It's literally, like, why did I start doing it when I was thirteen? And from thirteen to sixteen, I worked like a thousand days in a row, didn't make a single dollar. I just, I love it. Can you pinpoint why? I mean, I, <laughs> fuck. Um, I mean, if you push me, you could probably pull things out. It's just, it's literally just like, it's not like I have to like motivate myself or it's like this. It's just what I do. I just wake up, 
and it just consumes me and I just can't stop. And I've never been able to stop. And if I stop, I get depressed. What's the most satisfying part of the process for you? Is it a successful video? Is it the feedback from the audience? Is it being the it's, best? It's really everything. Okay. Like, it's like, I, I can't pin it to one thing. It's like being able to provide for my family, being able to employ my friends, being able to do crazy cool stuff, having freedom, you know, the fame, the money, everything. Like, All of it. Everything that like I like all points towards just being a better goddamn YouTuber. And like, it just makes everything that I want better. Damn, PewDiePie right now is shaking in his boots. <laughs> he, he's kind of just like not trying super hard. I mean, I still enjoy the videos, but they're, you know, like he, he, he's pretty he also, checked out. He also doesn't give a fuck. Exactly. <laughs> he's, Which, coasting. He, he's, he's, he's coasting. He's coasting. But that's, yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's just still, like, I was still saying, I think I said it last time on the podcast, I still, like, anyone else's position would be so arrogant. It'd go to their head. Like, I still appreciate that he's humble and he's not just like, trashing on people like if someone criticizes him his initial response is that hey fuck you i have 10 times your subscribers you know what i mean um and that like i i love about him interesting interesting have you met him in real life no i i, I um well i was gonna try to do something but then COVID, and we're in like different countries yeah so. yeah 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 damn so you're just in vegas you flew across the country just to gamble and watch wrestlemania well so i flew to la to do a bunch of meetings oh, okay. and then on the way back i stopped here for a charity tournament and then reed's like oh well wwe's a few hours later Let's fantastic, do that. fantastic. Yeah. So, so what's next like this next upcoming week in the life of mr beast oh boy so let me think the next video is i'm getting dropped off on an island with nothing and trying to survive 100 hours um wait 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 let's talk about this <laughs> okay. he just shakes his head <laughs> actually like 100 it. hours yeah with nothing <laughs> uh i mean i'll have the clothes i think so i'm gonna do what they do in naked and afraid i'll probably they bring a pan you, you choose five things or something well it's like a pan for like boiling the water and i'm gonna bring sunscreen because i'm a bitch and uh <laughs> it's fine you should yeah, yeah like so that maybe like one other thing but yeah um do you know how hard this is <laughs> yeah I, i've been on islands a bunch Logan took a chicken. Have, you, have, have you had did you have a lighter to start a fire uh, Jimmy, not, Jimmy, you're going with no food, no food or no. water. We, we picked one that has berries and coconuts. So what's uh what? Oh, that helps a lot. The coconut. Yeah. I, wait, am I missing something? Did you try to do something? Yeah, like yeah. So yeah, I had a show called Logan Paul versus, and uh, one of the episodes, I just I'd go against the craziest fucking. Where, where did that live? Uh, on uh, face, no Comcast watchable. No, no one, no one <laughs> saw it. <laughs> I know. Which, Can which, you re-upload those to YouTube? No, and I'll tell you why concept great yeah. right like me versus a fucking bear me try to like slack line across a canyon me yeah. in the demolition derby um execution not so good so i won't re-upload but the concept was good but anyways this one episode logan paul versus wilderness um okay. I, I i did 48 hours on an island okay half the time you're gonna do i remember sitting under this log at night <laughs> yeah and i and i remember being the most miserable i've ever been in my life jimmy when yeah. it's 3 a.m and you can't sleep because all you hear are cicadas and animals that you didn't know existed mm -hmm. and, and creatures that are just like purr purring in the night and you forgot to put mud on yourself and there's mosquitoes eating you fucking alive and you cannot sleep. You're going to be like this alone <laughs> on the island like this. Oh, fuck. Maybe this, was a, <laughs> I, I'm like, th maybe this is the one you don't survive. I'm gonna Jimmy, go maybe don't do this one. I'm like, dang, I should have listened to Logan. That's what I'm going to think about the whole time. No, li 100 hours? How are you going to start a fire? Uh well I don't know I'm getting training if 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 I can't do it with the the wood I'll probably bring a flint and steel okay my next piece of advice do not use flint really take matches well but matches are you're, 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 for you're, content flint and steel are better that yeah. that it's is gonna, gonna it's, it's so hard bro look at this kid look at his face know, right he I is know. unshaken <laughs> by any it. of the things you no just no described. look you're gonna get it done the, i'm just i'm letting you know you might be like oh this is hard <laughs> i remember being three hours i'm not kidding bro i was striking flint for three hours i go this is not like the movies dude it's mi it's midnight on this island i'm like i'm crying i'm sweating i'm hungry i'm like yeah, but that's good content yeah, it is. i gotta be fucking miserable <sighs> that's a long time let's bro. go <laughs> hours is a long I gotta time. be miserable. I, I have noticed a correlation between me being miserable in videos and them doing better. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like yeah, solitary confinement, most of video, it just destroyed the Orbeez video. It's probably gonna get like two, three hundred million views. But you do even in that video, dude. I didn't really feel, well, uh, maybe a little bit. I didn't feel like like tr too much true terror and yeah. and like because I try not to like freak people out, but that was that was pretty brutal because they they were just throwing alarm clocks in there in the middle of the night and yeah. it's just like just fucking gross in that room he's there's, really doing it there's gonna be a do you think there's gonna be a moment where you like almost break maybe it's this video 
I mean, I have quite a few, <laughs> but you know, you just you do so good of a job at hiding it. Yeah, you just you know take a half a day off and then you're good. He's a warrior. A half a day. <laughs> he goes, it takes four hours. He's yeah, a warrior, just, just bro. crank out like a season of anime in a night and then you're good. Sometimes I will go lay down for 20 minutes <laughs> and then I could, I could go for the next year. Uh, I mean, it's just, I just always try to think like if I was 100 looking back like and I quit, like I would be, I would regret it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you just have a forward thinking thing. Like I'm going to live thousands upon thousands of days. Like if I just got to suck it up for the next 24 hours, it's not yeah. the end of the world. Do not ever fucking quit. That's the one, that's the exactly. one thing you can never Keep ever going, take always. back, dude. And I know like if I do slow down and just like ramp down for a few months for like a break or something. It, it would never get back up. You just got to keep riding. 100 the foot on the gas, baby. Exactly. YouTube don't like breaks. YouTube. I'm algorithm. the more like my personal momentum. No, uh, on YouTube, you could take breaks. Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes we go a month without uploading the game. Oh, channel, really? And it's still fine. Yeah. yeah. You got that real clout. Yeah. Uh, well, you just like if you don't upload, but you come back with a viral video, you're good. <laughs> That's my theory. That's why I, I, I don't I'm not too interested in producing right now because I know I have like two videos lined up, I think, before the end of the year. Zingers. Yeah. You know, if, and as long as they're good. As long as they're good. You're good. No, it's, it's literally that simple. Like I could like not upload on the gaming channel for a year. And then if we come back with a banger, it'll get 10 million views. My 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 last question, because I know we have to break. If, Why do we it, have to break? What do you think? He's got to go to do some shit. But um, if if you said you could take lo- breaks on YouTube, a company just uh, last week announced that they're going to start uh, offering cryogenic cryogenic freezing. So you can actually start to cryogenically freeze sure. people with the with the belief that a future society could of course. bring them back. Would you cryogenically freeze yourself in the next year? No, but dude, I get cancer three days to live. Freeze me in a heartbeat. Okay. <laughs> but okay. that, no, I mean, like, we're too young. Who the, the fuck cares? The f- the freezing thing's gonna take a couple decades to develop. For, yeah, for yeah, something yeah. like that, I don't want to be the test stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I want a few like. A, let's get someone else to be exactly. The case. <laughs> let's see. Let someone get new frozen. Th- let's thaw them out in ten years. Let's see that. Oh, they're just dead. Bro. and then improve, and then I'll do it. <laughs> imagine, imagine like fifty years from now, they thaw out the first human they froze. He just crumples to the ground like Mr. Beast's friend driving the car. And you're like, you're like. Well, fuck. <laughs> Tyler comes back in anyways. And then just have just a... <laughs> 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 Tyler comes in. He's ashes. He's like, that was my chance. He's ashes. <laughs> just... Yo, Tyler's going to laugh dude, so he, hard. That dude just episode. assaults all the dead people. <laughs> Yo, but Tyler, five... We take Tyler to a cemetery. He just starts Tyler driving <laughs> graves. And he's like digging them up so he can beat up dead people. <laughs> it's like, Tyler, chill. So, so many jokes to be made, man. <laughs> Oh my Damn. god, that's funny. Maybe your boy with the um, heart condition will do it. Uh, maybe. He I mean, now he has got a pacemaker. That, if you do that for a video, if you could I freeze cryogenically him, froze my friend. I spent 24 hours in ice. The issue with the freezing is it needs to be instantaneous to stop all of your vitals, mm-hmm. but not kill you, right? So maybe when your boy's heart stops and he was going to come back to life anyways, that's the chance. Yeah. And so then in the future, they could just like do a heart transplant on his frozen body. Absolutely. Five, 500K full body. Uh, you could do a pet, I believe, for like two Gs, a pet. And we don't know if it works. And then, and then 80,000 for just the head. They'll, no, they'll, they'll I'm cut. not doing that. I don't know how you even uh. pull that up. Like, cut my head off and freeze it. Like, how do you say that to a doctor? Uh, 80 Gs. I don't like, even want to think about that. That's so easy. I just know. Envision them cutting a dead person's head off and No, nah, but you're it. I guess you're about to die, and they can, I don't fucking know. Man. Don't it's all complicated. They'll figure it out. Look, oh. we, we, we got to go do the obligations. No, yeah. so. I'm having fun. Yeah, I know. This is good. I know, bro. I'm, uh, I'm glad we got you on at least a little bit. Yeah, bro, how long did we go for? Probably 55, 50. Okay. Fucked up thing about it is this will probably get more views than whatever you're about to do next because Beast is on it. We should probably just keep rolling this to say fuck the other thing. You know, Mike, sometimes, it's believe it about, or not, about. It's not about the views. <laughs> Tell him that. Tell him that. Not Tell him that. Wait, really? That's not the meaning of life? There are other things in life besides views on YouTube? Absolutely not. Just kidding. Yeah, Chase those, say, taste those views, kids. I about to get out and leave. All right, guys. Go unsubscribe to Mr. Beast's channel. Thank you for watching Do this episode of Impulsive. Do not even say that. Do not even say that. He got so... I it's such a bad off. call to action. No. Um, wait, I'm trying to think. Is there anything? Yeah, do you have any other like pressing zingers that pressing we zingers. should leave? leave no, on? I mean Mike's proving or showing proof that, that he's not a clout yeah, chaser. Yeah, yeah. And then the time almost died. I mean, those are the the two big things. It's been it's two been good. Matters. It's been good. They're Eat your beast them. burgers, kids. Yeah. Get your beast burgers. They're hey. delicious. We ra- we rated them. We rated yeah, them on the on the night shift. Thanks for coming on, bro. No problem, Jimmy. It's always a pleasure. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna we'll probably hang out tonight. Let's do let's okay. do something. No, uh, I'm putting them on blast here. 
Cleat, let's play hang out. Come on. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I want to hang out with you, bro. Oh, nice. Cool. Let's go gamble. Guys, thanks for listening to this episode of Impossible. We'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye. I hate you, George, for not coming. Woo! Yeah, facts. <laughs>